to close the program this week, and I'll tell you why I'm doing this, folks. I'm doing this because Star Maker Bowling, I've heard through the grapevine. I haven't been in personal contact with him for the past couple weeks, but I heard that he got some bad news from the vet. And I can only assume that it's his faithful, longtime companion of 16 years, Misty, his big black lab. She slobbers, and I don't know that he takes care of her well, and she probably eats the cheapest food. Um, but at the same time, he, you know, the, he loves her and the, they're longtime companions. So if it's that, I want to let him on the program as kind of some therapy. But I, I, I've got to say that I know how he feels because now that I'm a parent, Harley Quinn, just a few weeks ago, we had to take her to the emergency room because she got up and pooped blood. And we were just scared and in tears and rushed her over to the emergency room. And $600 worth of tests later, they found out she had indigestion. But at least, but we were, you know, afraid for the time. So at any rate, I know how he feels. So I want to give him the opportunity, do a little therapy here on on the experience. But it's going to be a, we're, we're lovers, we're givers, yes, we, we, we are, are kind people, we're compassionate people. It's going to be a segment entitled "A Little Bit of Bowling" because too much bowling is too much bowling. Our listeners have said, but a little bit of bowling, hopefully, will be just right. So. Alice, play the music that we're going to hear from now on whenever we have a little bit of bowling. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit of bowling on my show. And Alice, do we have Star Maker on the line? Indeed, we do. I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we do have bowling. Can you hear me, Star Maker? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I, I can I've, hear you. I've given you this time because I've already told the the listeners that I've I've heard about the situation. You had bad news from the vet. I was hoping against hope that it wasn't your longtime faithful companion, Misty. Uh, but it, it, do you want to share your feelings with us at, at this time? I appreciate the time, Jimmy. I was hoping it might be a little more, but uh, you've already entitled it a little bit of Bowen, so we'll just make do with the time we've been given. And, and I guess it will, I guess it will be a little bit of therapy. Um, it, I don't know if you can know how I feel or not, Jimmy. I don't know if you can put yourself in my shoes because you know, Misty, you've known Misty damn near half as long as you've known me. How long we known each other? 35, 40 years. Misty's some, some, been around some. for damn near, Misty's been around damn near for half of that, Jimmy. She's, uh, she's getting ready to turn. Well, we was hoping she was getting ready to turn 17 coming up here in the, in July. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we got a visit from the dog pound. The dog pound came here because her license were out of date. And, uh, well, I guess they were out of date because I'd never really actually had her license. So we'd never really gone through that. She's always well, in now, here with well, me. Well, now, wait a minute. I d didn't hear that you didn't pay for the dog's license. I heard that you got bad news from a, from a veterinarian. Well, that is why we had to take you, didn't, you didn't pay to have the dog licensed all these well, years? Why, well, now, is this a surprise, to, Jimmy? That's why we had to take her to the veterinarian is because the dog pound came by, realized she didn't have no tags, and that she'd never had any any shots, or, or not in a long time. When she was a little puppy when I got her, you know, when she was six weeks old, my, my ex-wife Gabrielle took her and had all of her shots and, <sighs> and training and all that stuff. But, I, hell, I thought that was for life. I didn't know you had to do that stuff anymore. Oh, uh, she'd, been, she'd been doing just fine. She was uh, cruising in on the age of 17 years old. and, and uh, But the, 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 the dog pound told me if I wanted to keep my dog, I had to take her to the vet. So. Oh, okay, well, then, but you got bad news from the veterinarian. Oh, my God. Like I said, I don't even know if you can put yourself in my shoes. I hear you talking about Harley Quinn and... The, the pooping blood and the limping and all the various things of your $6 million dog you've got there. But you spend a lot of money. You, you make a lot of money. You travel all over the world. And, and I live in a tiny one-bedroom apartment on the five miles from you, Jimmy. We live two different uh, lifestyles. How, what and does what this I have did, to do with, that, with your dog's health? Well, it's got everything to do because I took Misty to the vet. And at 16 years of age, she's only been once. I didn't know what they were going to find. What? I mean. You've only taken that dog to, to the vet once in, in 16 years? Well, I never took her. Gabrielle took her the time before. I mean, hell, oh, she was in good. It, it, why would you take some? Why would I go to the doctor if nothing's wrong with me? Why would I take a dog to the vet if, if, if she's fine? You've seen her uh, many times. Does she ever look like she needed to go to the vet to you? Yes. Oh, stop it for crying out loud. You're, 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 you're making me look sound bad to mine and your fans. Well, anyway, what did the vet so say? What? 
So what I did is I took her down to the vet, and they gave her the various tests and the stuff. Well, I had Chris do it. I couldn't do it myself. I had my son, the prince, do it, and and, and his lovely companion, Myra. Uh, they went down there, and oh, my God, Jimmy, I, it was just hard for me to even say. You know, I'm a man on, you know, I'm, I'm on just disability. Just say it, man. Just say it. What happened? There was horrible news. There was horrible news. All the examinations and and then. <laughs> The, the testing of the stools and all that, they charge for that. I had no clue that they charged to look at a dog's poop. To a well, I, I almost felt bad for him, Jimmy. To give almost. him a shot. And I want you to know, I mean, man, I, you talk about crying my eyes out. Christopher brought me back a, a, a canceled check for $102.93. $102 for a 16-year-old dog. That was I don't know how much long this she's got to live. I had to put the heat on her. I pulled her up. I put her right in my face. I said, you better live another year, dog. That was $102.93. That's big cash to me. You know how many headphones I got to sell? <sighs> what, is three cents. what is three it like? The headphones I got to sell just to cover the vet bills. So people, if you're out there listening... And if you like my beats, my bowling, if you've heard about them, you've wanted a pair, oh, stop it. I, no, can, no. I, can, I, can, I can really use your help right don't, now don't because I need help paying these vegetables. I cried for an hour and a half, Jimmy. I've never spent $102 on a, on a, on a almost 103 on a vet bill for a dog. Would you calm that? What is it like to not have a soul? To just have a <laughs> black space where your heart is? To just what not have a feeling? Are you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. You so you got to be out of your mind, man. No one, you know, no one loves Misty more than me. But come on, you can't be throwing cash around like that. I've I've had talks with you. You've got the six million dollar dog living under your roof. The dog ain't as big as the palm of my hand. The dog limps. You take it to the vet. The dog wag her sideways. You take it to the vet. The ball falls. The dog falls down the steps. You take it to the vet. <sighs> Misty fell around four times today. She didn't go to the vet. Well, She's a big dog. She overcome her. Maybe she the wouldn't child. be just standing there and falling over if you took her to the vet every once in a while. Well, she had lost some weight, they said. Uh, they uh, When they took her in uh, back in, uh, Lord God, I guess 14, 15 years ago, uh, she was projected to weigh about 115 pounds. They said she only weighed 86. What the and, uh, and, I, and I heard you saying, so I've, I've kept her in good condition. Uh, but I heard you saying that she only eats the cheapest dog food. That's not right. You know the Disney folks, the good folks at Disney. They have a, 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 a dog food at Kroger called, let me think of the name of it here, uh, yeah, the man, Golden Years. You tell it. Hey, I, when I was over there one time, I saw her drinking out of a plastic slop bucket that looked like it had been used to carry chemicals. It was. But we cleaned it up. It was, it was, an, old, it was an old paint bucket. But but it holds water great, and the way it's shaped, it's hard for her to tip over. Nevertheless, so no, we cleaned it up. There's no more chemicals in it. Nevertheless, have you? Have, we we hosed it out out back. You were supposed to last time we spoke, and we're about done speaking here. Uh, you were supposed to take Ma Bolin to the to the doctor. Oh, Obviously, God. you didn't take her to the vet. You took her to the doctor. Was, was did you get the results back there? She had been hounding me, Jimmy, for months, months. <sighs> She was only supposed to be here a few weeks, as you know, when she moved in about a year and a half ago. Hounded me for my Kenny, please take me to the doctor. I'm feeling under the weather. Things don't feel right. She's getting around just fine. She's still cooking dinner. She's still doing laundry. She still gets my mail. She still vacuums the carpet. She still cleans the bathroom. She still goes to bingo every Sunday. And that's my job. That's how I, my radar. If Ma Bowen is still able to get out of bed and go to bingo on Sundays, let's face it, she's just fine. She's milking me. She's trying to work. So I finally caved in. I finally caved in because I realized it had probably been about a year and a half since she'd been to the doctor. So, and she's how, covered how by some. How old is How old a lady is Ma Bolin now? Seven, seven, 75. And, so, so, uh, and, and, uh, and I've recently found out, I recently found out that she's covered by some type of uh, insurance plan called Passport or something. So it turns out I don't even have to pay for it. If I'd known that, I'd have took her sooner. Oh, for hell. So, uh, so what I did is I, I loaded her up in the car there and took her down. To, had to be there at the ungodly hour of 2.30 in the afternoon, which I wasn't happy about. So we get her there at 2.30, and, oh, God. I don't even know how to tell you this, man. You think, you, God, 
you think the the news I got back from uh, from the vet was bad with one hundred and two dollars and ninety three cents? Yeah. No, actually, she's I don't the, think that's bad news. But well, 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 she's in the doctor's office for the better part of an hour and a half. I had to run. I was starving. I had to run over to Arby's and get me a couple of fish sandwiches. You're, just you're to pull seventy five through. year. Wait a minute, your seventy five year old mother is at the doctor being examined for the first time in eighteen months, and you can't wait to eat. Until she gets out of the doctor's office. Well, there's no sense both of us starving and being hungry. She wasn't allowed to eat for, for 48 hours, or 24 hours. They made her not eat for 24 hours because they had all these various tests and, and it, everything. You probably, to do. you probably made her not eat for the other 24. Well, she said she didn't feel like cooking. Well, I wouldn't, well, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Have it say, what news did you get from the doctor? You've, you've bad got bad news, bad news. Bad news oh, on my God. Bullying? Bad news. She comes out. She's got a, she's got a smile on her face. I'm thinking, what the hell? You know, she's talking about, she's got a smile on her face. Comes creeping across that parking lot, reaches out, grabs that door, sits beside me and looks me right in the eye. She says, Kenny, they never found a thing wrong. Jimmy, I busted out into tears. I said, what in the, oh. what? what in the hell? She says, Kenny, I could live to be 105 years old. You know, your aunt Elizabeth, she's 103. I mean, her boy, Aunt Elizabeth, yeah, Aunt Elizabeth lived to be 103. Grandma Bowen lived to be 99. <sighs> That's she, could be here another 20, yes. she could be here another 25 or 30 years. I'm telling you, I, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I'm, I get hit with $102.93 at Bettville. They're telling Ma Bowen that, that, that she could possibly live another 30 damn years. She smokes and shows no sign of it. She's a two-pack-a-day smoker. They can't find anything wrong with her lungs. She's got a blood oxygen level of 98. I've never smoked a day in my life, and mine's 94. What the hell? What kind of, what kind of doom has been put over me? I feel, I feel like slip rock. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Alice, I think it's time to play the music. <laughs> 